Good night, Ixie. Good night. Thank you very much. All right. So when you're going into your opener and you're trying to build what you're going to do, it can be difficult because you're like, okay, well, how are we going to do this? Do we want to do we want to hold Nashing Fang, make sure we burst with everybody later? Buffs are usually up around nine seconds. Do we use things earlier because using them earlier gets us extra uses? All of this comes into play with how we're going to do our rotation, which is a priority system. Keep that in mind. Gunbreaker is a priority system based class. We do not use a rigid rotation. Instead, what we do is we have two gnashing fangs a minute. We have a sonic break and a double down in every no mercy window. Bow shocks in every no mercy window. Blasting zone is every other use is in no mercy. It's two a minute. Rough divides, you're going to put both of those in no mercy unless you need them for mechanics. And Bloodfest is now a two minute cooldown. So that's going to be used in every two, four, six, eight, ten window unless you would have to shift it for downtime or phase killing. Sometimes your eight minute use may get pushed to nine minutes because you'll have a three potion fight. So you use it on the opener, then at 430, then at nine, which comes out around 440 and 910. And you'd blood fast at nine instead of eight and everybody would push their buffs to nine minutes instead of eight because the boss dies before the next two minute use. Things like that, things like that are, um, are going to be useful. Uh, so when we're building our rotation, we're like, okay, well, where do we go from there? How do we how do we open? And we have a two minute rotation. We have 25 GCDs per minute right now. Now, be, now that we have 25 GCDs per minute, we know that it's going to be two gnashing fangs per minute, right? So that's six GCDs. We have a double down, that's seven, and a sonic break. Now we're at eight GCDs per minute. Well, that takes three cartridges. It takes four cartridges to get because because it takes two cartridges for double down and two for the two gnashing fangs so we need four cartridges to generate that we need to do our one two three filler solid barrel combo four times so that's 12 gcds from that so 12 gcds from this plus the two gnashing fangs is another six so now we're at 18 plus the double down plus the sonic break we're at 20 so we have 20 gcds five left over in a minute because a 2.4 to 2.x GCD is going to be 25 GCDs a minute. There's a little bit of wiggle room there, but that's all you need to worry about. 25 GCDs a minute gives us five left over. So now we have a keen, brutal, solid burst strike to, d to eliminate the cartridge we generated to prevent overcapping, and then one keen edge. Meaning that if we start off on no combo, we're moving forward one placeholder every combo. So what happens if we go into those 25 GCDs and we were on Brutal Shell? Well, we would get Solid Barrel, Burst Strike, Keen, Brutal, Solid Barrel. So you're gonna get you're gonna get two of whatever GCD you had, right? So we, our rotation moves forward one in the one, two, three, four sequence. When I talk about the one, two, three, four sequence, we're talking about Keen, Brutal, Solid, and Burst Strike that prevents overcap. So it's our it's our overcap mitigator. So when we talk about our rotation flow, really all we care about is the one, two, three, and the burst strike. So one, two, three, four is how we'll refer to that. Every minute, you're shifting forward one from where you were before, but when you have a Bloodfest window, it grants you three more burst strikes. So we shoot forward uh, more than that. So if you're on if you're on Keen Edge going into your next non-Bloodfest window, you're going to go to Brutal Shell, right? That'll make sense because... Uh, you're going to shift forward once. You're going to have Keen, then you'll have Brutal, Solid, Burst Strike, Keen, and now you have Brutal. Well, Bloodfest is going to remove three of those, right? So you could think of it this way. Keen, Brutal, this is where we go in. So now we go into our next one on Solid Barrel. And it's a Bloodfest window. So we're going to jump back three. We're going to we're gonna go to Burst Strike. So let's, let's see it in action, okay? Let's see it in action. So I'm going to open up, let's say, Hi! I'm a new tank and I'm not sure what to do right now. So we're going to open up with lightning shot. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up with lightning shot. And then you know what? I want to get my stuff on cooldown right away. So we'll use Bloodfest and No Mercy. But I really want Gnashing Fang to be in buffs. So I'm going to wait until my fourth GCD. So lightning shot and then Keen Edge and then Brutal Shell. And that's when we'll do Gnashing Fang. And that's, that's what we'll use to build our rotation, okay? So we're going to begin. We're going to start. We have our countdown. So we're going to have 10 seconds on the clock. You would have food. You'd be using a potion here. I'm not going to for circumstances because these are very expensive right now. 
Okay, here we go. Full Bloodfest. There's no mercy on the second half of the OG CD weaves. Okay, and now buffs are going up. So I'm going to Sonic Break, Bloodfest, Bow Shock, double down, get my Rough Divide going, Savage Claw, and then I can Rough Divide again there. When you have Savage Claw, it has the lowest animation delay, like the lowest animation locks between your OG CDs, then your other Gnashing Fang combo pieces. So if you're going to double weave somewhere and you have high latency, do it on Savage Claw. So I used my last Burst Strike in the window, and that didn't get me Hyper Velocity, but it did get me a Burst Strike under No Mercy. Here's Gnashing Fang back up. Cool, we're going to use that. So I went into No Mercy after my Lightning Shot. So that meant it went before Keen. So because it went before the 1 in the 1, 2, 3, 4 sequence, my next one should show up after 1, so after Keen. We're just 1, 2, 3 comboing, generating our cartridge, pooling for the window. So there's Keen, and there's No Mercy. And that's great. Okay, so now we're going to get everything going. This is an odd minute window, so there's no raid buffs from the party. So we just use everything that we have on cooldown as we get it. Now we're going to Solid Barrel, and then we Burst Strike, and then we Keen Edge. Because that No Mercy window happened after a Keen Edge, the cartridge we got at the end for the Burst Strike got Hyper Velocity inside of buffs because our ninth GCD in the window was Brutal Shell. So that's a nice game. Each window that does not have Bloodfest will contain a Keen Edge, a Brutal Shell, and a Solid Barrel. You'll get your 1, 2, 3 in all of them. That doesn't really matter where in the sequence you go in. We just priority system, keep everything on cooldown as best you can. Okay, so now we went in after Keen. So if we look, we go in after Brutal, right? Because we moved forward one in the sequence. And we're just we're using everything on cooldown. Oh no! Oh wait, that actually, that's not great. That's not great. Because I had Weaves from Continuation come up. Oh man, because I had Weaves from Continuation come up, that meant that my Bow Shock had to be delayed, right? I had I had Blasting Zone and Bow Shock ready at the same time, but I had to delay one because because I had Weaves. So what what can I do to fix that? Well, it turns out that the buttons we're using right now, Gnashing Fang, Double Down, and Sonic Break. If you look here, Sonic Break, Double Down, and Gnashing Fang. They don't exactly have 30 seconds and and 60 seconds for recast timers, do they? No, they don't. They scale with our skill speed. That means we're reverse drifting them. When you hear the term reverse drift, they appear sooner in your rotation. So there, it looked like we were going to have two cartridges, but we didn't. We got our third cartridge and we went into our No Mercy window. You want to try to go into No Mercy when you have three cartridges available always. Uh, if you can't for whatever reason, and it would cause you to massively delay things, you can do a burst strike, hyper velocity, and then No Mercy and you can go into your window after. That's fine, you can do two cartridges. It's not as much potency, but it might feel nice and it prevents big buttons from being delayed. So that's something to think about. So going back to what I said, oh no, I delayed all my OG CDs. That's not great, right? Well, it's, it's not so bad because we can shift things forward. That reverse drift that we did, Gnashing Fang coming up sooner in our rotation, that's why we said we want to delay it by one GCD per minute. We want to delay it by one GCD per minute. That's been the mantra of Gnashing Fang for a very long time now. So here, let's go ahead and delay this until after Brutal Shell. So now we're going to Gnashing Fang. Now we're going to Sonic Break. Now we're going to Double Down, Blasting Zone, and Bloodfest. And look at that. We kept our Bow Shock from being delayed anymore. Now, if we hadn't delayed Bow Shock earlier and we had kicked double down forward earlier we would not have desynced our blood fest or, or we, we would not have desynced our bow shock yeah also welcome on in thank you for the follows so here we go here we go we're just using everything on cooldown again and so again i'm not following a rigid rotation right i'm looking at you guys you gals you non-binary pals i'm just hanging out with all of you i'm just hitting my one two three I'm hitting my one, two, three. I see that I have 15 seconds on No Mercy. 
So I know that I'm going to be using one burst strike to prevent overcapping before that happens because our GCD takes roughly, you know, if you think about it, it, take, it takes like nine seconds to loop, right? So here, watch this. I'm kicking Sonic Break forward. And that's fine. You can move Sonic Rake and Double Down forward. They're going to reverse drift again later. It's okay. As long as you don't lose a use. Right? That's the big thing. This is 1,200 potency without No Mercy. That is 1,440 potency with No Mercy. That's huge. Right? All of your Gnashing Fang is very potent. And your Sonic Break is 900 potency or 1,080 with No Mercy. These are big buttons. Blasting Zone 720, you do not... You do not want to miss the use of that. That is huge. Blasting Zone is more important than almost every single GCD you get. If you were to get Wicked Talon with your continuation, that's one thing. But Blasting Zone, you do not give up Blasting Zone under no uncertain circumstances. Like, Double Down is the only GCD that beats it instantly. So I'll use my one. And you know what? Let's, let's delay. Let's see what happens. So we're going to go into Double Down. There's our Blood Fest. Now I'm going to tell you something. You remember in our opener how we used No Mercy after our first GCD? That means that Raid Buffs came up three GCDs later than that. By this point, we delayed No Mercy by one GCD earlier in the rotation, and we just delayed it by two GCDs. Now, our No Mercy begins when everybody else's Raid Buffs begin. Which is wild, isn't it? At this point in the fight, we've been going on for so long that chances are, if you were to delay another use later, maybe you'll start pushing it out of raid buffs. But savage fights aren't typically longer than 10 minutes. So you're going to be fine. You're going to be completely fine. You work off of what you can and you mitigate losses later. If you're like, oh, I delayed and that ended up causing a problem. What can I do to prevent that later? Well, that's what you can do, right? You can prevent it later. Next time, you know that you can't delay No Mercy. Sometimes you can. Sometimes you can. If you can delay it to get three cartridges, that's going to be better for you. But if you would push things out of raid buffs, then that's not going to be better for your team. So let's go ahead and zone in again. And let's do that one more time. So here's another question people might have when you're doing your rotation. It might be, uh, what do I do if I desync, if I desync No Mercy from Gnashing Fang, right? How many people have had that question before where you've asked yourself, you've been like, maybe it's even, even going to be you friends that'll be watching uh, the VOD at home after, right? How many of you are thinking, oh God, I, I died and now everything's unsynced. What do I do? Or you're thinking... Uh, I missed my gnashing fang and the boss went away, or I just forgot to press a button. What do I do? How do I ha how do I handle this? And it's a little convoluted because you do need to know your kill time. Because if you're not gonna lose a use to hold it until your next no mercy, you would hold it, right? Or if you're using a 30 seconds, you would you would delay like that. Uh, otherwise, you need to know when you have to use it right away. You need to know when you have to use it right away. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example, okay? Let me give you an example. This is going to be a good one, because I know this is going to happen. I know this is going to happen. You get up, and your No Mercy window is coming up, right? So here we go. Let's let's do this. So you're going to go into the boss, and you're going to be like, okay, one, two, three and you're, you're gonna go into no mercy now because you're like okay i saw this i saw this on the balance it looked good let's do that so i'm gonna i do one two three one when you do a rotation like this because no mercy is not early you cannot delay it later to mitigate three cartridge losses keep that in mind because if you delay it later you're gonna push it out of raid buffs there is a reason why openers cater and tailor to certain metrics so if you're gonna choose an opener make sure it's one based on the fight if you can afford to use it early to mitigate later to prevent your three cartridges, then that's a good thing. Otherwise, you might be like, ah, dang. Ah, dang, right? Uh, 
There's nothing wrong with this if you don't lose uses and if you don't push it late. You can completely do this, but understand that that's going to be the flexibility that you're sacrificing to use it here. Right? Okay. And you're like, oh, I don't want to overcap. Okay. One, two, three. And then you're just like, oh, I'm going to burst strike. Oh no. What do I do? What do I do? Do I AoE combo? I don't know what to do right now. Uh, uh, I need a cartridge really fast. Uh, that's not great. <laughs> that's not great. There are times where you would do that if... So, you, you, you pushed double down forward because you did an AoE combo and got a cartridge one GCD faster. That's only going to be beneficial if it would mitigate a loss of use later, right? Or if it would cause double down to still be like in your burst window. Because you do get 240 potency off of it because it's a 1200 potency attack. So you get 240 extra potency, which is basically a brutal shell. Okay, so now let's say I'm like, okay, I don't want to overcap and... Oh no, I went in with two cartridges. What do I do now? Uh... 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 Okay, this will be okay. This is fine. This is fine. And look, if you look, it is fine. Because the last GCD in the window is a solid barrel, meaning you still got everything you needed. Totally fine on a Bloodfest window, but what do you do if it's not on a Bloodfest window? What if? What do you do... If it's on a window where you're like, oh gosh, Bloodfest isn't up now, how do I handle this, right? Oh, I didn't use my Gnashing Fang or my Blasting Zone. Okay, let's get those ready. Let's get those ready. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my Lanta. It's almost like I did that on purpose. <laughs> so now I was talking to chat and I missed it. I missed using Gnashing Fang when it was ready and Blasting Zone. That's not great. That's not great, chat. What do I do now? Gnashing Fang has less than 10 seconds on it, so I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. You know, let's just go into No Mercy and see what happens. Right? Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. It might feel weird, but you know what? We call that tail ending. Gnashing Fang got shifted to the tail end of your No Mercy window. That's fine. That's completely okay. If you think about your last four GCDs of the nine that are in Gnashing Fang... They have a 2.44 GCD, right? Your recast is 2.44 seconds right now, meaning that if I wanted, watch this, I could even delay this by an additional two GCDs. As long as you go into your No Mercy and Gnashing Fang has like 14 seconds or less on it, you should be good. And we'll see that in a second. So look, this has four... Three, two. This is going to be more than fine. You're going to see I'll leave it out of leeway. See, look at that. We had about 12 seconds left on Gnashing Fang. We got our double down. And pretty much everything else that we needed. Pretty much everything else that we needed. Right. So, 12 seconds left on Gnashing Fang afforded us two GCDs afterwards, one being the double down and one being the burst strike at the end. All things that are completely fine. All things that are completely fine. So now you're going to ask, well, Rin, this is a lot to remember, right? This is a lot to remember. I just kind of want something simple. You're making Gunbreaker pretty complicated. And that's fair. That's fair. Here's what you need to remember. You want to make sure that you have Gnashing Fang twice a minute, Bow Shock, Double Down, Sonic Break in every No Mercy, Blasting Zone on cooldown, Rough Divides in No Mercy unless you need it for movement, Burst Strike to prevent overcapping, Blood Fest when you have zero cartridges and it's on cooldown. That's really it. Continuation. 
The only thing you really need to know about continuation if you're not familiar with Gunbreaker, which most people should be if you've hit level 90, continuation gives you an OGCD. And if you do not use that OGCD before your next GCD, it's gone. You lose it. So if I were to do Gnashing Fang and then Savage Claw, it's gone. I lost it. You have to use the proc. And that, that goes for that goes for first strike as well. And you can see you have 10 seconds to execute it. Yep. So all you gotta do, build resources with your filler combo. You're just doing one, two, three with solid barrel. First strike to prevent overcap. Go into no mercy on cooldown. Uh, depending on where you use it in your opener, you can shift it forward so you can keep three cartridges. I prefer using no mercy. If I was going to do Lightning Shot, I would use it. Lightning Shot, Bloodfest, No Mercy. And then Keen Edge, Brutal Shell, Gnashing Fang. Otherwise, I would do Keen Edge, Brutal Shell, and then probably No Mercy, Solid Barrel. I would, so I would probably do Keen Edge, Brutal Shell, No Mercy, Solid Barrel, Potion, Gnashing Fang. So you do one, two, No Mercy, three, Potion, Gnashing Fang. And that gets you two Gnashing Fangs inside of your potion. Um, outside of that, like, if I was going to do Lightning Shot, Bloodfest, No Mercy, I would do one, two, Potion, Gnashing Fang, and you'd get the same thing. you get your two Gnashing Fangs inside your window. Um, it's really not... It's not going to be that bad. I just... I, I ask all of you, just try it out. Give the priority system a flow, okay? Do not try to adhere to specific windows. If you have an issue and you run into two cartridges, you can push the window forward if it doesn't push things out of buffs or it doesn't afford you a, a use. So if... If you would lose the use of Gnashing Fang by delaying, don't do it. If you would lose the use for Blasting Zone, don't do it, etc., etc. If you use Blasting Zone after, like if you do one, two, no mercy, and then you do Sonic Break, Blasting Zone, Bow Shock, right? If you do this, and now Blasting Zone, you miss a use by like one second, then you should have done Gnashing Fang, Blasting Zone, Continuation, and then Savage Claw, Bloodfest, right? So you can shift your OGCDs forward. You can move them forward in your rotation. Use them earlier to get extra uses. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. No matter how many raid buffs you have in the party, something like Blasting Zone with 720 potency, something like Double Down with 1440 potency under No Mercy, and something like Sonic Break with 900 or 1080 under No Mercy, all of these buttons getting your extra use is going to beat your raid buffs. It's going to beat your raid buffs. You know? So keep that in mind, please. I challenge you to give it a shot. You're going to succeed in Savage. I know you've got this. I know you've got this. And with that being said, I hope it's helped you out.